Hi guys, welcome back. It's Gina. I have, I have for you today another mixed media project, but with unconventional materials, well, unconventional um, thing to put on it. I just got this really standard terracotta pot. It was maybe seventy nine cents, I think. And who doesn't have a whole bunch of these, even bigger ones? medium sized ones, you could do it with any size. But to prepare the surface, if you wanna um, redo this, you have to prepare it correctly. And to do that, um, terracotta, terracotta <laughs> by its true nature is actually very porous, which is great, um, but I, you have to sand it a little bit because it does have a, a sheen on it. Probably a some sort of glaze or anything that was on it before. I already um, sanded it down, but just make sure you get into all the cracks and crevices or your paint will not stick onto the pot itself. See how I didn't do it right here? It's a little shiny. Just go, go on and sand it down. I like to sand down the inside a little bit, just the lip, okay? So after you sand it down, you don't necessarily have to um, wipe off all the, the, you know, the excess. I like to, but you really don't have to. It's fine. It's just another little texture that you get into your, your pot, your um, surface. Okay, what I have here is standard gesso. It's, um, you have to gesso all your surfaces so you can get a tooth to work with. It's to put on your paint. So I'm, all I'm going to do is gesso the whole entire project. That's it. And usually, if it's not enough, like, see how, right there? I usually do it twice. So I can make sure all the embellishments, all of the paint, everything that I've put on there, I will put on there, will not rub off. And I'm going to put this outside, so I have to make it waterproof as well. And I don't want the water from the inside going to the outside and ruining my project. Or you can put it in your house for decorative purposes, of course. But see here in Louisiana, it like rains a lot. So why are you going to do a pot? Well, why not? You know, why, why not? You could do this at a, on a cup, a plastic cup. Sand the outside. Make a plastic cup for your pots. And that's all you really do. Just make sure it's nice and prepared. And let this dry before you put on your second coat. Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm just going to do the prepare preparations for this video. And then I'm going to come back when everything's dry, of course. And show you what I'm going to do with it. And hopefully you guys get some techniques and things like that with your pot. And then I'm going to show you what I usually do with styrofoam, but that's going to be another video. Just wanted to show you a little bit later. <laughs> Tell you about a little bit later. My, my landlord broke my pot yesterday. I was not a happy camper. And you know, some of these pots, the decorative pots, especially are super expensive i could not believe it it was like 40 bucks for this one decorative pot that i love and i was no mm -mm. <laughs> i could not believe it so if you're like me and you want to save money yeah this is what this kind of stuff i do Okay, I'll see you guys next video when we start to embellish it and we start to paint it. 
And if you have any questions about what kind of gesso I use, or sandpaper even, please don't hesitate. Okay, thanks guys.